The U.S. Air Force's new Boeing T-7A Red Hawk trainer is undergoing climate chamber testing in Florida, the service announced Tuesday. A series of testing is underway at the McKinley Climatic Lab at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, to verify T-7A system functionality during periods of extreme temperatures. During the tests, performance of the T-7's propulsion, hydraulic, fuel, electrical, secondary power, and overall operations will be evaluated in conditions ranging from minus 25 degrees to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The Red Hawk is set to replace the 1960s era T-38 trainer for Air Force fighter and bomber pilot flight training. Its iconic red tail livery honors the Tuskegee Airmen of World War II, the U.S. Army Air Force's first black aviation unit. Last month, the advanced trainer made its first cross-country flight to Edwards Air Force Base in California for flight testing. The Red Hawk must withstand a range of environments from sitting on the ground in the Texas heat to flying at altitude. Troy Hoger, Air Force Life Cycle Management Center's T-7A chief developmental tester, said in a statement. The Climatic Lab helps us do this in a deliberate and methodical way and will give us confidence that our new aircraft meets requirements. The $9.2 billion Air Force program includes the purchase of 351 Boeing T-7A jets, 46 simulators, and support.